So creating fretboards in Rhino is dead simple. What you want to do is come over to the Ekips website. Uh, the tool is the FretFind 2D. Now, first of all, you want to determine your scale length and the number of frets. Whatever fret number you're doing, you want to add one extra so you have fretboard overhang at the end. You don't need to worry about any of the other numbers. Once you've got those two, you just want to come over to the DXF option and click Save to Disk. Using the import function in Rhino is pretty simple. All you've got to worry about is making sure that if you work from inches in eKips, you set the import units as inches in Rhino as well. Now the first bug of many in eKips is that your import ends up blue and upside down. To get rid of the blue, you just come over to the properties sidebar after selecting everything and change the display colour back to black. You can then go and rotate your fretboard to whatever suits you. Now, as you can see, the fretboard gets imported with all of the frets in a bunch of segments. Unfortunately, you can't just go and join these as each of the segments overlaps to the next one, so you, you'd be spending hours just trimming everything down to create a join. So what I like to do is come over to the polyline function and simply just draw a new line, however long, from each of the fret ends. If you don't want to click the polyline function for every line, you just right click and it will bring the last tool you use back up. Once you have your new fret lines, we can go ahead and just completely delete the original eKips import and start basically recreating our fretboard from this. Now I'm going to start with a nut width using the line from midpoint, just wherever on this new nut. And you're going to want to type in basically half of the amount that you need for your new nut. So I'm using a 42mm nut, so I'm going to be using 21 as my value. I can now go ahead and delete that initial reference. Now I'm going to go and draw a new center line all the way down. Now the next thing I'm going to do is select the line from midpoint tool again and basically create our heel width Again, half of the width we want because it's going to do it on both sides. Once again, deleting that reference after, I can now go ahead and join the ends of the heel and the nut together. I'm now going to go ahead and trim all of these frets down to the fretboard using the split command and selecting the two sides of the fretboard. I'm now going to go ahead and delete all of these initial fret ends. I'm just going to trim the center line down to the fretboard and there we have a 2D fretboard. Of course you can go in and radius these ends if that's what your neck requires. To do that you use the fillet curves command you type in your radius here, and then all you do is click the first line and the second line. 